All right, guys. So this thing, this bad boy's clear. Um, this bad boy right here that I just pulled this out of, these are these leather holsters that are made in Iraq. This one is actually more of like a pleather material. They make them out of a whole different uh, sizes, more for compacts, subcompacts, full-size handguns. And uh, they have this like suede interior right here. Um, and they're very popular in Iraq and Syria uh, for to carry handguns in. Now there's, looking at this from a standpoint, you know, from a sort of Western standpoint, you know, you have uh, zero retention on the holster. And a lot of guys will carry this either, you know, maybe in a, an appendix carry, or maybe some sort of a side thing, or maybe even around the back. Um, but essentially you have this leather piece and it has no retention on the handgun. I mean, all it is is there just to protect the finish. Um, there's no retention on the handgun. There's no retention in the waistline or the belt line. And I mean, you'll see, you know, Kurds working on this and, you know, they'll have it tucked into their traditional uh, belts that you'll see them wear, especially in Northern Iraq. Um, but anyways, you know, sometimes when you pull the handgun out, sometimes it stays there, sometimes it doesn't. And it's sometimes cool to come across these holsters um, when you see owners with them because they'll be wearing this for so long and it'll get so sweat soaked and everything that the holster will actually contour to the outlines of the handgun. And you'll have like the outlines of the gun inside here. Um, it's not, it isn't really a safe system for what it is, but what it does do is this will protect the finish of your handgun. And if in Iraq, you're, for instance, you're buying, you know, a Glock 19 that is $2,000, maybe even $2,500, um, you know, barely, like, you know, somewhat new, um, or barely used, the investment in your gun is a lot different. So in the U.S., you know, you buy a Glock 19, you're running about $500, maybe $400 if you're lucky and if it's used. Um, think about you're putting another, like you're putting $1,500 more into that. The concern in Iraq with private handgun owners isn't about, you know, keeping the gun safe in retention or keeping the gun safe inside, which, by the way, you know, this has horrible um, uh, trigger guard protection. I mean, look at this. The gun's inside the leather holster and boom, they can just go off. Um, but that's not the point of this. In addition, a lot of people will actually carry their guns in a condition three state. So there'll be no round in the chamber. However, they'll have a full magazine inside. Um, so when you have it in condition three, it's not that big of a deal having no round uh, inserted in the chamber. But really the focus on here is on the uh, leather. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, we've got uh, Patreon support that we could really use some help on. And we also have the Sila shop that we have stuff on there. And we're trying to get these for sale on there as well because they're kind of just a neat novelty um, from Iraq.